you can always count how many seeds are in an apple, but you can't count how many apples are in a seed. The average apple has about five to 10 seeds, but how many apples are in each one of those seeds? Something you really can't count because some seeds don't produce anything. Some seeds produce a little, and some seeds go on to produce an orchard. So when we're at work and as leaders, those seeds of appreciation that we plant into those on our team, some may not have a big impact. Some will have a little impact, but some can produce dramatic results. And the key is that you never know what you're going to get from those seeds you plant. We just have to embrace that mindset of the ambitious sower to say, I'm just gonna keep sowing seeds of appreciation knowing that some of them are gonna land on fertile ground. Some of them are gonna inspire someone that's gonna step up and become the vice chair of Cascadia next year. Some of them are going to land on a person that's gonna end up becoming employee of the year or the top sales rep in our entire division. Why? Because we built this culture of appreciation. This is the USS Benfold. When Captain Mike Abershoff took command of the ship, it was known as the worst ship in the Navy. That was their reputation. He was facing low morale and over 90% turnover. When he took command, he immediately changed the management style in place from one of command and control to one of commitment and cohesion. He gained the loyalty of his crew by enlisting everyone in a shared vision where they all felt like their job and their responsibilities were part of achieving excellence for the ship. He started giving out medals that were previously reserved for only the highest honors to everyday victories that he saw in both individuals and in teams. One year later, after taking command of this ship, turnover reduced to less than 1%. The rate of promotions on the ship tripled, and the crew reduced their operating expenses by 25% in one year. But it's because when a new leader showed up with a different philosophy and built this culture of appreciation and gained the loyalty, because he was the example to model, because he empowered other people, because he recognized people, dramatic shift that nobody thought was possible, and they went on the next year to win the award as the best ship in the Pacific Fleet. So from the worst ship in the Navy to the best ship in the Pacific Fleet in one year, what was the change? The culture, but what created the change was the leader. And we can create that culture shift in our own organization.